It is big, it is bright, and it is beautiful. After 25 years, a cast of thousands, and a budget in the billions, most of Salt Lake City International Airport is now good to go. Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall cutting the ribbon at the gate of the first flight to leave Concourse B. I think it's really nice. It's big, um, but I think they did a really good job. It's beautiful. Moments later, Deborah and other passengers began boarding that first Southwest flight out of the new concourse, heading to Oakland. It is an exciting day for air travelers, even though there are far fewer of them now than there were seven months ago. But this is what Utah needs. We are growing. People want to live here. They want to visit. And this is just the opportunity for that. There are 21 gates in all, featuring Alaska, JetBlue, SkyWest, United, American Airlines, and others. It is an especially exciting day for folks like State Senator Karen Maine, who's helped this project grow from the planning phase to opening day. It takes a village, and I'm just like one person, but it takes a village, and that's what it's taken. You look at the contractors, the workers, they put everything in place, the architects. It takes, uh, well, look how many years it took to do this. And the a village and a couple billion dollars. Th that's correct. All while reaching the finish line in the middle of a recession and a global pandemic. On time, on budget, no local tax dollars, and it's going to be here for a very, very long time. There are several brand new shops and restaurants once you get over here, including local favorites like Uinta and Wasatch Brew Pubs, plus a Maverick convenience store. There are also long people mover walkways, and you're going to need those because it's a long hike to get to Concourse B, essentially the length of more than three football fields in a tunnel running under the runway. So if you are flying out of Concourse B, take that into consideration. Give yourself plenty of time to get to where you need to go. And the last phase of all this construction at the airport, due to be done in late 2024. At SLC International Airport, Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.